Hi everyone, my name is Juno. I have a health science background and I'm the author of the book Truth and Empathy, How to Find Your Soulmate. And I'll put a link to the book below. This video is about the differences between ISTJs and INTJs. Some people are still confused about these two because one is the sensor version of the other. So it means that if we look at their function stack is that the intuitive function has been substituted for the sense of function in the ISTJ. So if we look at the sensor judges generally, is that these are people who have fast brain waves. Actually, they have the fastest of all the personality types. So they have a, a beta brain dominance, which means that it's 16 cycles per second on average. And these are people who are focused on the five senses because of brainwave dominance. So these are people who are good at noticing what is in the environment. So in other words, if let's say you had work like uh, accounting or even bookkeeping, and they might even be good as lawyers because they are detail-oriented, uh, they tend to have a long attention span, um, and these are people who are very reliable, reachable because they are judges. And they tend to be very traditional as well in the sense that they will promote things like, okay, marry early, uh, stay within that relationship, uh, and they like to pass to the uh, future generations what they have learned. So these are people who are very much into uh, a generational, let's say, wealth. Um, these are people who are very much about keeping it within the family. Uh, but the downside is that when it comes to sense of judges, they are the ones who are most likely to have mental health issues. And I've talked about it in my other videos. What happens is that if someone is a sense of judger and they have a beta brain dominance, which is about 16 cycles per second, is that it's reflected in their resting breathing rate, which will also be 16 breaths per minute. That's when it's optimal. But most people are chronically stressed, so they breathe faster than that. And if we compare that to the INTJs, is that the INTJs have a slow alpha brain dominance. So in other words, they're, they're, if we, we look at their resting breathing rate, it will be around uh, six to seven breaths per minute because their brain will dominate about six to seven cycles per second. So these are very intuitive people. So these are the type of individuals who uh, will stand out in history, just like let's say Newton or uh, let's say uh, Einstein, because they, their brain waves. Uh, like really help them look into like something deeper. So they're not about looking at what happens on the surface of their five senses. They're looking at a deeper truth. And what happens is that when a person has very slow brainwaves is that they are like aware of the subtle uh, aspect of life. So the information is there, but depending on how a person's brain works is that they don't have access to this information. So you'll see that they come up with revolutionary sort of ideas, just like you always say with Einstein and, and Newton, like, you know, the law of relativity or even like calculus that uh, Newton has actually created for physics. So these type of uh, really uh, unusual sort of insight into math and science. So the other aspect when it comes to INTJs is that these are people who are uh, like introverts, obviously, but because of the fact that they are also intuitives, they even are more so sort of reclusive. So you'll see that with INTJs, you might think that they are borderline meets a autistic because they, they are very left brain dominant brains combined with being an introvert and combined with being also an intuitive. So that combination makes that they don't have a lot of social skills. Uh, they might not come across as very expressive. Um, so these are people who are not easy to get uh, to know. And also, they are the people who would like to spend a lot of time like alone and working on their different theories or even in terms of their research. So the theme of their lives is knowledge and power. Uh, there's just only a small percent of people who fall into the category of the INTJs because most people are sensors. So they breathe between 12 
in 20 times a minute. So if you come across an IED, it's really an exception than the rule. Uh, but uh, as I said before, is that because of the fact that they, their brains are wired very differently, they usually stand out in history. By contrast, the ISTG is a lot more common because there are sensor judges and their brain type is a lot more common because they are part of the sensor group. Uh, the other aspect is that the ISTJ uh, might be struggling in their personal relationships because uh, they're very left brain dominant and they're not very expressive. So they don't come across as very warm and, and, and sort of like uh, affectionate. So if they are trying to connect with someone who's right brain dominant, that may be dif difficult. Um, an example of an ISTJ that is really well known would be like Ben Shapiro. Uh, the other aspect is that the theme of their lives is duty and tradition, again, which is very different from the IN. TJ, uh, because as I said before, it is about knowledge and power. So the, the ISTJ will be a lot more uh, drawn to something that is more reliable, uh, predictable when it comes to their career. Um, and also they're the type of people who want uh, recognition from their community. So they want to be well perceived and they're the type of people who like to uh, they can be very organized and they when it comes to let's say predicting the future uh, they will base it on data collection so in when if you compare it to the INTJ which is really about intuition and in when you come up to intuition it's not about based on a pattern of data it is the sort of insight that a person gets and sort of download and you'll see that INTJs are more prone to these sort of like uh, aha moments compared to the ISTJ. Actually, they are at opposite end when it comes to their brain. So to summarize is that although on the surface, uh, they might look very similar, uh, when it comes to the sense of judges versus the intuitives, the, the intuitives who are judges, they are actually at opposite ends. And when it comes to the ISTJ, they are about uh, duty and tradition, that's their the theme of their life, versus the intuitive um, thinkers like the INTJ, it is about knowledge and power. One is a lot more uh, traditional, they, they follow rules, the other one actually is about breaking the rules. But although if you actually get their function stack, you only have to look at, let's say, where the intuitive function is, you substitute it for the intuitive one, then you'll understand why they behave the way they do. So I trust that this information was interesting. Maybe you learned something. If you did, please click on the like button, subscribe to my channel, and we will talk soon.